Hello. Chinese drama The Love You Give Me EP 27. Min Hui followed them because she also hit someone. The police brought Min Hui and Zhang Mai back. Every time something like this happens, you should call the police otherwise people like Ding Yifeng will continue to harm many girls. Zhang Mai said that Min Hui gave her the courage. Xin Qi rushed over and asked Min Hui how she was doing. Min Hui said she was fine. The next day Zhang Mai could finally come to work in beautiful clothes. Kao Miu and others also dressed up nicely, expressing that from now on everyone can dress according to their preferences in Bayan. There is someone online named Vanishing Amy who posted a thread, talking about many things Cheng Kirang did, including evidence of his attempted rape of Min Hui back then. Cheng Kirang called Min Hui over and asked her why she posted that stating that he could sue her for defamation. Min Hui said she didn't post that thread herself. He has harmed so many people, maybe one of them wants to seek revenge on him. Cheng Kirang said that these people are all overestimating their abilities. Zhang Yiding previously raised a husky that she liked very much and even let it sleep on the bed with them. Cheng Kirang despised sleeping with a dog, and the husky knew that Cheng Kirang didn't like him. He never treated Cheng Kirang kindly and even bit him once. One time Zhang Yiding asked Cheng Kirang to walk the dog. Cheng Kirang deliberately took the husky to the park because he knew there was a particularly aggressive dog there and intentionally let that dog bite the husky to death. Cheng Kirang thinks that Min Hui is just like that dog, overestimating her abilities. Min Hui asked Xin Qi to come and pick her up. When Xin Qi arrived a motorcycle suddenly came and was about to hit Min Hui. Min Hui stumbled and injured her foot on the roadside. The person on the motorcycle left when they saw someone coming. Xin Qi felt guilty and blamed himself for not coming earlier. Min Hui knew it must have been Cheng Kirang's doing, but she didn't blame him. Zhou Ruji and Yao Zizu took Quan Quan to eat ice cream. Quan Quan felt speechless seeing them being lovey-dovey. Zhou Ruji took Yao Zizu home and left after dropping her off. Yao Zizu was very frustrated and called Zhou Ruji, thinking he no longer liked her because he just left without looking back. Zhou Ruji hurried back and made a U-turn step by step, making Yao Zizu laugh. Xin Qi brought Min Hui to meet Director Lin. Director Lin had returned home earlier and found his house in a mess indicating that Cheng Kirang had someone search through it. Xin Qi originally intended to find Director Lin, but he brought Min Hui to stay at a hotel instead. When Director Lin saw Min Hui, he knew it was Cheng Kirang's doing. Min Hui asked her why she posted the thread, and Director Lin said it was Xin Qi who told her to do so. Min Hui felt that Cheng Kirang was the one who betrayed her and Xin Qi was simply going with the flow. Director Lin felt envious because both she and Xin Qi understood each other so well. Min Hui thought they had no evidence, but Director Lin took out a USB drive, indicating that she had the evidence. Min Hui and Director Lin started a live broadcast and revealed what happened in the past. Cheng Kirang was furious and asked the PR department to handle it. The police arrived and stated that Cheng Kirang was suspected of attempted rape and needed to be taken away for investigation. Currently, Ding Yifeng has been sentenced to three years in prison for illegal eavesdropping on trade secrets and Cheng Kirang has also been arrested causing a significant drop in Guancha stock price. Xin Qi wanted to acquire Guancha, but now the retail investors and small shareholders in the secondary market have almost sold off their shares accounting for less than 5%. Xin Qi and Min Hui went to meet Zhang Yiding to discuss cooperation and asked for her 5% stake. Zhang Yiding was unwilling, but Min Hui mentioned the incident with the husky. Xin Qi stated that Cheng Kirang would do anything to achieve his goals and has now been sentenced to 10 years. Zhang Yiding realized that cooperating with Bluebird would ensure the reputation and stock price of Guancha to the maximum extent, so she finally agreed. Director Lin was about to leave and apologize to Min Hui before departing. Kao Miu got drunk and talked about his parents. He grew up listening to them arguing, so he didn't want to get married. Chen Jijin said that everyone is different, and he has always wanted a family. Xin Qi took out a ring and wanted to propose to Min Hui, but he ended up fainting. If you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye bye.